Today we're talking about what a year of weekly uploads on YouTube gave me. So it was May last year that I started uploading to YouTube. I started creating content because I needed a platform to upload all the ideas that I had, the smaller videos that it wasn't a full film production, but at the same time it wasn't a client work. I needed something to kind of like just create for the sake of creation. There, there was no pressure, that there was no standards, and it was just whatever I wanted to create. Starting this YouTube channel was a way to do just that, create what I wanted to create. I got 420 subscribers, I've uploaded over 60 videos. Uh, it took me a while to kind of figure it out what kind of video I wanted to do. I started experimenting with different things, tutorials, editing videos, um, just like a bunch of stuff. And I finally kind of found a style that kind of works for me. I worked at this building for six years. I was a barista there uh, while I was studying. It's not something that I really desired to do or even thought about it. I just kind of got the job. I didn't even drink coffee at the time. And six years later, I was a pretty decent barista. See, I feel like there's something to be said about doing the best you can do always. Always putting yourself to do the best work that you can. And that's what I did here. Even though I was only working here on the weekends, I wanted to be good at being a barista. I wanted to enjoy the work that I was doing even though it wasn't a work that I set for myself to do. It was a step towards what I wanted to do and I wanted to be a good step. I wanted to be proud of myself regardless of what I was doing and that's why I focus on being such a good barista. When I started doing YouTube, it was the same thing. Even though I wasn't getting paid, it wasn't getting millions of views or wasn't getting all this attention. It was about how much work could I put into this? How well could I make these videos? See, I feel like a lot of people, when they start YouTube, they want to just explode and be popular and get all the followers and subscribers and likes. I truly believe that the more work I do, the better the work is going to be. And whenever someone actually comes across my work and they click on a channel to see what else I've done, they'll really get engaged. If they like a piece of work that I did, there's so much more out there that I made. There's over 60 videos that I made on my channel. Some of them are not great. Some of them are pretty good. And I feel like the more time I spend making it, the more refined it gets. So the longer it takes for people to find my channel, the more engaged it probably will be. Uh, I remember coming across Matt Devella's channel. I came across one of his videos and he had so much content and it made me so happy that this new YouTuber that I found that I really enjoyed one of his videos he had like months and months of content they already made that I could watch and really engage. At the end of the day, I thought this video would be helpful to anyone starting a YouTube channel that started a YouTube channel but hasn't seen any growth. I think it's not really about uh, just numbers growing is about how do you feel about what you're making? Are you getting better at what you're making? Are you enjoying the making of it? I feel like there's so much more to be gained and not just views and subscribers. I managed to get a lot of work because people like the, the stuff that I've done on oh, YouTube. Okay. Get myself more credibility when I apply to jobs and things like that because it can show that here I make things for myself and that has a lot to say. So if you're someone that uh, either an aspiring filmmaker or someone that just enjoy making videos and want to kind of find your way through this industry that honestly had a straightforward journey to directing and things like that, but nowadays it's really not that straightforward. I really believe that you can find your own way to whatever career you want to make and creating content around it, exploring your journey and exploring the new methods and new ways there is out there can be a great way to kind of do that. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Make videos here every Monday. That's all I have for you today. Bye.